Hi, my name is Lachlan Adrian, and I am here to highlight all of our talented individuals we have here at the MHS Music Department. Now let's see what all these amazing departments have in store. <laughs> here at the music department at MHS really help you achieve? Well, I've been in the program for four years and I just have to say that the sense and of purpose and direction that it's giving me is something that I will cherish for the rest of my life. Just being in choir and being in every single production, it's been an amazing experience truly. But I have to say that the program would not be what it is without Mrs. Bennett and Mr. Dunsey. Just the endless hours that they have put into me and the hours that I made them stay, just preparing me for every single opportunity that I wanted to succeed in and that they've helped me succeed in. Just district choir, contest, I don't think I would have ever gone to state or be going to an honor choir in the spring without their help. The thing that I love most about the program is that we, could, we constantly continue to push boundaries and we strive to be the best. We're constantly setting higher expectations for ourselves and that's something that I really admire. You know, it's, it's really no secret that I love music, but um, it's my teachers that have inspired me to grow through the program and grow in music, and I'm excited to see what happens when I graduate and go to college, and I know that they're going to support me no matter what. I mean, they believe in me when I refuse to believe in myself, and that's the most that a teacher can do. They're really amazing. So I heard that you got into Allstate Choir. Now, tell me a little bit about that process and how your instructors have really helped you get there. So there's three parts to the Allstate Choir audition. One of them is a prepared solo that um, the student who auditioned chooses. And then added to that score is a sight singing portion, which is key signature identification, and then just two sight singing portions underneath it. And that's out of 100 points. And then there is another piece that's SATV that you audition with on your part um, that MMEA picks as the audition piece. And those scores are all added together. And then the top four people from each voice part in each district go to the Allstate Conference in January and they get to learn all the music and be part of the choir and it's really cool. And Mrs. Bennett helped a lot with this. She was really the biggest support um, at the, the, with the music faculty here at MHS and she rehearsed with all of us like every day after school learning solos, practicing sight singing, learning the audition song and she just really did so much of this. With all the new renovations to the music department facilities, tell me how that really benefited your teaching style. Well, first and foremost, we have a new rehearsal piano, uh, which stays in tune and it helps the choir's overall tone because they're able to hear things in tune from when we're rehearsing and their overall tone is better. Uh, the second thing behind us here, we have these wonderful four-step risers that we can move around and um, situate as needed. The students can stand further apart and they can hear each other better when they're singing, which really helps us perform better. Um, the third thing are just the overall acoustics in the classroom. The classroom is much more live without the old carpet that was in here just soaking up the sound. So when we sing, the sound comes back to us and they can hear it better, which allows us to sing more challenging literature. Um, and the fourth really nice thing that we have is the recording equipment in the classroom, uh, which we've used to record the choir, uh, to send in for things. Uh, we've recorded individual students to audition for honor choirs, and we also can record practice tracks so the students can practice at home um, on their music. So overall, those things have been wonderful additions to our music department and have helped us continue to grow.
Since your freshman year, what have been some of your greatest accomplishments? So I've gone to district contest three times now. I got a two my freshman year, and then my sophomore and junior year I got a one, which meant I got to go to state. The state, I've gotten a silver and a gold. I've also tried out the district band uh, the past three years, and I made it the past two, making third chair. What are some of your greatest memories of being in band? Well, I think one of my favorite memories is when I got to go to state competition with um, Logan and a few others because we got to explore the Missouri campus and it was really fun. So how have your instructors helped you become a successful musician? Well, first of all, Mr. Perry and Mr. Welker are very good teachers. Um, they both introduced me to new practicing materials like um, practice books and uh, things that help me learn my scales and notes and also sheets and other tips to help me get lower and higher in my playing um, abilities. So yeah. How has the renovation with the new facilities benefited your teaching? Well we now have a room that's uh, been acoustically designed for a band rehearsal space and uh, uh, it allows not only myself but the students to hear much better how we are playing and uh, so we can make corrections faster and uh, it's just a better environment uh, it's not as loud uh, when we have a full group in there the old band room was extremely loud especially for marching season and uh, this room is uh, it's almost double the space and uh, that allows for a lot more sound disbursement and it's just it's healthier for the students and myself and uh, as I said, we can hear a lot better, and uh, obviously that results in a better opportunity for practice. Here at MHS, we have produced very successful alumni musicians. I had the opportunity to sit down and talk with Trey Riley and Anna Fincher to get a little update on their music path so far. So what is your greatest memory of the music program? I think my favorite memory of the music program was my final jazz band performance my senior year of high school. Um, namely because we were not so worried about playing well as we, we did play well but we were more worried about going out and having fun together and so that just made for a very fun concert where I think everyone that was at the concert enjoyed how much fun we were having and we enjoyed it and we went out having fun which I think was the most important part. So with all that you've learned from the music program at MHS how are you applying that now to what you are currently doing? Well, right now, um, I am still in school, but I have been playing in the University of Missouri St. Louis Jazz Ensemble. I don't do that anymore, um, but now I have my own big band that I just started last year. So all of the knowledge that I learned at MHS, I've kind of put into that, um, as well as I have played um, in Italy and France and China um, with some of the UMSL groups, and um, everything started at MHS, so um, it's just, you live and you learn, but everything that I learned from music started at Moberly. What would you say to somebody who is considering doing music as their lifestyle? You will never ever be bored, but absolutely do it. There's always something to look forward to, there's always something to work for, and you're going to meet all kinds of very different but great people. Music as a lifestyle is a great way to meet all kinds of different people from different walks of life. Uh, you will always be a lifelong learner if you put yourself into a position to be. Um, so absolutely pursue music and don't stop. Awesome, well thank you so much for letting me interview you. It seems like you're doing some great amazing things with the music thank program. You. So how are you taking what you've learned from the music program at MHS to what you are currently doing? Okay, so currently I go to Central Christian College of the Bible here in town and I'm really involved with chapel worship. So every week, actually twice a week, we meet and have a worship service. And so whenever I get to sing, um, it's really helpful to have that knowledge of harmony and dynamics and just how a song should flow and build together as a group of musicians. But then it's also really great to like share that whole singing experience with the student body and just have a great time worshiping the Lord together. So since you were also in chamber choir, what have been your greatest memories in the music program? One of my favorite memories was my freshman year. We had a Christmas party and we did a pretty quick final. It was lots of fun, but then we uh, had pizza come in and snacks and we all brought in different Christmas cookies and stuff and we played games. And it was a really cool way to get to know those students that were older than me 
because um, I was one of the few freshmen that was in chamber choir that year, and so that was a really cool way for me to get to know some of the So what would you say to somebody who is considering making music a part of their everyday life? I would say that's a great decision because music, honestly, we hear it all the time, and so if you have that knowledge of how to sing, you can enjoy that on your own time or with friends in the car, uh, maybe if you go Christmas caroling or sing at church, whatever you do, um, choir in college, anything. Singing is just one of those lifelong skills. I don't think you'll ever be upset that you took the time to get to learn. Um, and it's just such an enjoyable experience. So I would say go for it. Awesome. Well, thank you so much for letting me interview you today. You've really impacted the MHS music program. Aww, so thank you so You're much. Awesome. We also had the opportunity to sit down with elementary and middle school students to get a hearing on what their experience is like in their music department. What do you like about music class? Well, uh, I'm in three classes with them, and two of the classes are choir classes, and those classes are great. We get to do a lot of things. We get to go on field trips, and with honors choir and seventh grade choir, we get to uh, go on competition, and we might even get to go on an extra field trip. And in eighth grade choir, I know they do like volleyball, they go to MU, and they sing the national anthem in front of hundreds of thousands of people. It's really fun, it's on national TV. And in music appreciation, we learn about, we don't sing, but we learn about a lot of music and how music can help people. Like right now, we're watching a movie about how music helps people with dementia come back and think about their past and get memories that they forgotten about. What do you like about Mr. Otaki? Mr. Otaki, he's not too strict to where kids don't like him, but he's not too laid back to where he doesn't enforce the rules. And he's he likes to joke around and be funny. So if like the mood's bad and everyone's grumpy, he'll try to make jokes and we really appreciate What do you like about Mrs. Lewis? Um, she has like this pretty voice and she lets us do recorders in fourth grade and I'm pretty sure everybody's favorite song is Curve. What do you like about music class? I like music class because um, when we get three fives in music, we get a listening fun choice where we watch a video, a music video, and I really like that we could play on any instrument on that day so where we get to play the instruments. Because on days where we get to play the bongos, we could play the bongos. And sometimes at the end of the day when kids are doing good in line, you could take an a, um, instrument off the shelf and play it, then place it back onto the shelf before you leave. I hope that you had an amazing opportunity getting to see all that this department has to offer and all the talented students here. And we know that they're going to be so successful in their music paths in life. Thank you for watching.